Welcome back to Apollo Justice, and we're still talking to the 1940s escapee. Yay. Yay. Anyway, uh, witness testimony. What I like it. I, 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 I like his design, and I and I like the quote joke. The problem is that, like I said, I think he overuses it. When I arrived at the studio, Mr. Mitchell was at his desk. He seemed to be writing a letter, but he quickly sealed the envelope. Also, my toothbrush <laughs> says hello. I thought nothing of it at the time, of course. Hey, my toothbrush is a more interesting character than half of you anyway, so ha 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 ha. Now that I think about it, what if he was writing a suicide note? Hmm, a suicide note. Uh, that, that wasn't one. I have a spoiled this ever loving, uh, I've spoiled the, the mystery of this case, but <laughs> yes, he had this look on his face. Man's face is inscrutable as, an equ as a quadratic equation, end quote. That was quadratic mean. Uh, Jova. He's not here. <laughs> oh. Dwibs. What? I have reached a new point in my boredom from this game. I am now uh, being distracted by the fact that YouTube is telling me that apparently I can press the letter K on my keyboard to pause the video. I wasn't even aware of this. Well, uh... Is that a new thing, or...? There it goes. See, M for unmute and mute. Would K someone commit pause. suicide in the middle of an interview? Wasn't the space bar supposed to be for playing the video? Why is it why still the letter is. K? It still it's, is. It... Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have reached a new point of excitement with this game. Oh. We're talking about letters of the freaking alphabet. Apparently, Chris didn't know this information either. <laughs> there you go, see? I, I'm, I'm already providing more important well, and interesting information than the game itself. Without Jova here, we'll and even that, that bar is pretty low. <laughs> anyway, um, time for the cross examination. I seem to write a letter, but he quickly sealed the envelope. Hold it! So he put the letter away when he saw you. Can we cross examine YouTube to ask about all its stupid decisions? <laughs> I just want to cross examine the toothbrush. Early reporter gets worm, man. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my secret. Well, yeah, the secret to your to your teeth. I'm not sure I follow. Come on, Polly, step out of it. It's the night of the interview. I arrived 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Uh, by the way, this is CNN. Oh wait, CNN wasn't invented in the 40s. Uh, uh, the handle turns, and the door opens, and I barge in. Are you sure that's okay to do? I mean, isn't that unlawful entry, really? So, yeah, once again, the witness incriminates himself in a crime while trying to give testimony. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Sure seemed to think so. You should have seen him. He had a gun pointed at my face and everything. It was hilarious. <laughs> he didn't look like he was going to shoot, though. He crammed his letter into that yellow arm as fast as he could. And he... There's a... You sound like a, uh, that sounds like a, I could make a really, uh, you sound, your joke reminds me of a specific thing that happened on YouTube years ago, but whatever. It does seem significant. It does. Um. Well, it's well, clearly well, some shady stuff. Mysterious envelope shoving. Well, Mr. Justice, I wonder, ever since the voice of Mr. Rai got out of my head, I've been improving somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> it does have the ring of something important. The defense finds this testimony vital, Your Honor. Seriously, what the hell is going on in my brain? Hey, uh, Teo, I, I figured it Phoenix is it out. your conscience. I yes. figured it out, Teo. Uh, in this game, Phoenix has the Millennium Rod, and he's constantly... <laughs> Um, come Kill in. Kill your family. Kill no, your no, family. No, 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 no. You're thinking of bridge in a bridge term. I'm talking about in terms of natural. Remember how one Bakura is dueling Yugi, and Merrick is always coming in for the mind contact of the of the Millennium items and stuff like that. You know, True. that's that, that's what Phoenix is doing. Yeah. Oh, uh, what was left of the crime scene? Who the hell uses <laughs> red envelopes? 
as it just so happens, there was a single letter in a desk drawer at the scene. Uh, the letter was D. Oh, you meant D for uh, death. In a red envelope. In Pentonville, California. <laughs> Maybe he's colorblind. Prosecutor Gavin. Yes, that forehead. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, Apollo, we yeah, have all day. Okay, what'd I miss? Not Apollo, Air Forehead. With a yellow envelope found at the scene of the crime. Basically, Jova, Jova. Upon, ah. upon your, um, upon your burbing, Jova, we were so enthralled by the mysteries of this game that we discussed YouTube's new letters of the alphabet routine on their video player. <laughs> yeah. You have to do with that stupid YouTube rewind. No, 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 no. It's a no. fact that for some reason, the letter K is the one to play and pause the video. Why? Oh yeah, K that's yeah, because it's K. Like, okay, that's something really? new. Really? That's the logic. Yeah. Okay. You want to press the button? Okay. Uh, I think P would be a, you know, P, P for play and P for pause. Wouldn't that make more sense? Hmm. I try it right now, but I don't want to fall out of sync. No, 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 no. I'm not saying you try it now. I'm just saying, wouldn't that make more sense? <laughs> So basically, as for what's been going on in the actual game, we brought up the yellow letter finally. Yeah. Yes. And about how it's not I a suicide in there. Jova, yeah. not, I, I, Jova, I know that you approve of this situation because you love that color, but who the fuck makes red envelopes? What kind of Car post office makes red envelopes? Carmen San Diego. Oh, oh, plenty of people have red postcards. Really? I've never seen one. Really? Not I mean, we've got all kinds of anything. Like, in here, we have blue, white, and I, I guess sometimes greenish, but that's about it. Oh, we have all kinds of colors for envelopes. Red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple, you name it. Oh, Some of the colors of the rainbow. The, uh, the cards that they come with. Anyway, 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 back on topic. And so what basically about the whole this? red and yellow envelope contradiction, chunk? I know, Apollo, but what can I tell you? You see, that's I a told sad you, part, Jova. He's colorblind. That, that's a sad part, Jova. I'm more interested in discussing this than the game itself. But go ahead. <laughs> well, Mr. Justice, have you anything to say to the witness's claim of that he's colorblind? That night, the victim, whatever other, he had been writing in a red envelope. Okay, Paul, yeah, please same. not. That's impossible. I was, I was Apollo impersonating. There's oil here, see? Uh, I, I like your expression. So full of confidence. There's oil here, see? It's sweet, sweet in the ground, see? Sweet, sweet I'll... oil, see? I was Apollo impersonating Mr. Fake Reporter. It's simple. It's simple, really. As it just so happens, the defense team investigated the contents of this envelope. It's quite nice for you, Monty. Uh, oh, 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 unofficially. With um, the assistance of a forensic scientist. See, technically the police were involved. Who I will not mention. Whoa. Emma is so. Emma, it's not written like that. Please stop. <laughs> Shyster, Emma is so fucking fired. <clears throat> uh, Clavia, do you need to go to the bathroom? His brain uh, blocked. Um, uh, aboard <laughs> How would he put the ladder to himself? Well, Lone sent a suicide note to himself. <laughs> That's a very good point. Yeah, he never finds this letter. By the time you read this, I'll be dead. Oh wait, I'm reading it. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you just got scooped. Order, order, order! Mr. Brussel, can you explain this to the court? And how is your head so flexible? It's like rubber. Oh, that's because uh, oh, that's because I'm working on 1940s cartoon logic. Did you see oh, my bye, design? Bye. Oh, bye, bye, bye. How could I have forgotten? I mean, Judge, you were clearly born in the 1940s. <laughs> 30s, more like. I suppose it happens to the best. Yes. Yes. Reporter yes. gets yes. called for Gets Labs and quote. Yes. We've already established this. The judge is immoral. He's been around for yes. centuries. Uh, <laughs> old? And, 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 and ever six? He's, he's been around in, ever since the time of which trials with. I'm still waiting for an explanation, Mr. Brussel. Wow, I'll give a judge this, he doesn't get distracted as easily as he That's called to. character development. And that's the thing, see? After he puts his letter in the envelope, 
Yeah, that's another thing. Most of the character development that I can appreciate in this game comes from the fucking judge. I mean, that's good, but it's a shame that he's kind of one of the only oh, people. No. Mister, Mister, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's Death's Door, but for some reason we're playing Eccentric 2007. It's his beam. His desk bird doesn't fit the situation. He's not being quirky or anything, he's just giving testimony. And is he not quirky? Well, there's times to be quirky and there's times to speak. Twibs, this is the Ace Attorney well, universe. A lot of his quirkiness comes from his expressions, not so much a what stamp. he said. That too. Stamp? Whatever for? Uh, uh, be well, wild, Clever. What else? Meanwhile, Clever's still going, go. Uh... While snapping his fingers at the same time. And then, why yes, I think I saw him, put it in his letter box. Uh, that's not what you do with your toothbrush, man. Yes, it was a yellow envelope, and he put it in Ooh. that box! Also, what are you looking at? Maybe there's a yellow one inside the red one. Well, apparently it doesn't have anything to do- Oh, I wish it wasn't finished yet! <laughs> Okay. Rude. Just think if that were a suicide note, what a story. Suicide uh, is fun! Eh, yeah, seen it, done it. Star right, suicide note. Actually, note Phoenix has seen it, done it, not you, Apollo. Uh, well, that's also the judge was speaking, but then Brussels oh, okay. threw one of his lines. <laughs> um, just his joke as I was so. saying, that has nothing to do with this case! Are you sure about that, Your Honor? Are you really times sure? That we said that said, so you ever hear it your mind? Yes, Your Honor. It makes me wonder about the contents of that red envelope. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's my. <gasps> oh, it's the. Oh, it's the release date of the Vita and 3DS versions of Mighty Number no. Nine. Well, I guess I'll keep this to myself. That Amazing. still hasn't happened yet. No, sure, uh, right. It still <laughs> has not happened yet. Oh my not God, guys. Guys, it's coming out the 32nd of December. I want you guys to know that we got Miracle Upon Miracle with Smash Ultimate before the handheld versions of My Number 9, a game announced in 2013, have come out. So this is from seven years ago, yeah? He's trying to snap his fingers to the beat. Oh my god, Tio, I just realized something. <laughs> Whoa. Have you realized that between this year and last year, we've gotten more news about Final Fantasy VII from Nintendo than Square themselves? So am I finished here? I mean, am I finished here? I was thinking of, you know, going home to start writing fanfiction. I mean, my, uh, uh, reports. Mm -hmm. My god, this is anticlimactic. I know, right? Um, I hate to state what should be pretty obvious to anyone. You know, that is one uh, But I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You know, this is one issue I have with this finale case. Ever notice uh, how for you catch the oh. sense of a story? You make that, uh, rather unique face. I think we all know where this is going. You probably didn't even need the ring this time. Back, come on! Look at me groping my, uh, uh, my chest like a monkey or something. Attorney has active imagination, little else, end quote. But this active Seriously, imagination that, that, may come in handy. Seriously, that post makes it look like he's auditioning for the <laughs> next Planet of the Apes film. Even I noticed something, and my eyes aren't what they used to be. Wow. You know, I'm starting to understand what all this perceiving stuff is about. Oh my god, he's catching on. He really has developed. I mean, normally it took him three games to catch on to this stuff. Judge has active imagination, end quote. <laughs> Not like he's wrong. Well, it's in the end joke at this point. Please, continue with your testimony, end quote. Not necessary. Tell us about the scent of a story. Uh, okay, well, I first get inspiration. <sighs> oh, I thought you meant the, I thought you meant the my script. Hey, I'm the one asking the questions here, usually. <laughs> You're in a trial, mate. 
Have I mentioned that one of my issues with this case is that for a final case, the seal's lackluster. I mean, okay, sure, we've... I mean, okay, we've obviously got the usual stakes, like if our client gets found guilty of murder, then she'll... she'll get, like, a serious penalty for that. But honestly, not really much has been built up. I mean, sure, we're learning now, but normally the way finale cases work is like, well, you sort of get a lot of the build-up before the case or whatnot. Now, granted, you could argue, well, this is just day one of the case. <laughs> Let's just say this finale case works different from most finale cases. It will get okay, exciting, will... but not in the way you imagine. Okay, one thing I will say is that um, I, I do, I do, may, maybe I think a reason why, uh, maybe they, maybe they felt that huge, big, grandiose final cases were starting to get a bit overused, so they wanted a more subdued final case for something that still has a bit of impact. But like I said earlier, the whole, you know, I'd have, I'd have thought that the ending of this game would have meant that, you know, other cases next will have a bit of a Jura's um, impact to freshen up the game formula, but that gets dropped with no explanation in Dual Destinies, so... Part of the reason for that is because when you get down to it, our jury system makes these cases a lot easier because the way juries work is like, well, yes, you have to do a good case in trying to, you know, convince the jurors, but it's up to the jurors themselves, and if eventually they agree, you win. It's only like with, say, per se, a judge uh, court situation like this, and with this judge in particular, that we need to get stuff beyond a reasonable bit of a bit doubt. Now, that's not to say you can't do interesting cases with the jury cases. From what I've heard, Grey Ace Attorney does actually do pretty well with those. However, even that one has to play up the jury system a little bit more. I do get the feeling, though, with how this game was not received as well as they were hoping it to, I can see why they played a few things safe and, well, okay, we can assume that the jury system is still around, but let's just assume none of the cases we do have a jury system, which does work, you know, not all cases are done by jury these days, some do actually have the one judge format, obviously not always, but whatever, we're taking some liberties. The issue here, though, is that, I will say this, the reason this my finale case feels so boring isn't really because of the jury system. No, 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 no. The jury system just well, makes it that we get words, an easier Sally victory. Gets wind of my story. Oh, dear. That's, well, actually, are they even there to write about it? They could be going to press while I'm going to waste. As I brushed my it's his nervous pose. The court feels your pain, Mr. Brussel. Mr. Justice, let's pick up the pace here. It's already slow enough. <laughs> it's Ouch. time for a change of pace? <laughs> a certain case seven years ago. Wait, seven years ago? Yes, I they kind of hammered the fat down our throats for the whole game. What happened seven years ago? Ooh. You know what's DLC weird? You know what's weird? In hindsight, the thing that I don't like about this case the most is where this case actually gets more interesting. I've really anyway, forgotten the how... You see, you can't win either way, basically. It's uh, cross-examination time. Anyway, it took a bit of work to get up on the interview. Uh, right on, blood is to do a bit. Truth time was back compare. Yeah, yeah. Been a long, rough road, and we're finally here, yeah. Beh, move a little forward, Q, feels like a year. Q theme from, Q theme from Star Trek Enterprise. I mean, I don't know, it's just, now that I'm looking back at this game, this is one of the few times where I feel like, you know, this just feels like lawyer work, and it's most boring. It's, but the, the game is, like I've said before, Joe, but the game is mainly boring because most of the characters are just either annoying or boring or just not plain interesting. And it, without that, you have no game. Not a not, game like this, anyway. It's a not game just like... the characters. I mean, I mean, okay, I mean, the characters have been hit or miss, but, you know, at least, at least in the previous cases, I've had some things that at least gotcha. kept me interested. Like, the first case, we literally have Phoenix as our defendant. And like I said, the first case was actually the best case of this game. That one had the proper ingredients to an Ace Attorney case. The second case's issue was mainly the villain and the defendant. How ironic, two opposites of the extreme. The defendant being someone who you never really like until maybe the very end when he finally gets out of his stupid persona. And the villain was just weird in the pacing of how I she gets revealed to be the villain. Bloody glands. And then, of course, there's Case 3, Turnabout Serenade, but that at least has the fact that it's pretty bad, but also does have a better second half to at least pick things up. But with this case, honest to God, this case, 
This is where I feel almost the most detached. Like, think about it. We've gotten the least amount of talking with our defendant in this case. We have the least amount of a cast here to really build off of. And we have the least amount of what's going on here. Now, I guess you could argue maybe Turnabout Goodbyes start off like that, but Turnabout Goodbyes used the proper free day structure. So you kind of at least had a good idea you were going to get more. And even still, even in the very first day, you already got to meet a good portion of said cast who would play a big role in it. Whereas here... <laughs> ridiculous. Holy cow, this is still going on. It feels yeah, surreal that I'm that's annoyed. Another, that's, another, that's another thing, Jova. The pacing of this game is terrible. It just goes on and on without no need. It just takes so long to get to the fucking point. And I'd say it's not so much the characters, but the tone this game is trying to set. Like, you can definitely tell this game is trying to go for a much more subdued tone than the original trilogy. Which might have worked if this weren't in the same universe as the original trilogy, that or at the very work. least, that... if they paced it better. Not just that, Jova. You can have a more subdued tone, but make, but you have to have the story, the 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 thematic depth to back that up. The and most interesting don't. thing about the story is what happened to Phoenix all this time, and we'll get that story. But here's the thing: it kind of shoots into the foot of Paul as a character, and maybe that'd be a more okay if he were more if he were more, you know, involved in the story. Like, let's look at Phoenix in the first game. Phoenix, oh. while not the main center of attention, wasn't um, the focus. Uh, oh. oh, sorry. The first is that this painting wasn't painted by Mr. Mischum. The second is that there was another painting in the studio. I apologize for my ranting audience. It's just, man, I'm so oh. disillusioned looking back at this And game. we also apologize that we kind of run on the same subject, but, you know, again, this game. Which looked exactly like this one, except it was only half done. Hey, I guess you could say we apologize. Corner. <sighs> Why, yes, cornered. I would love for that theme to play. Go to the corner, I mean. I have, a, I have diplomatic immunity against it, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> then we have a letter discussing a payment of $100,000. You, 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 see, you see, we took that out of Mr. Wright's paycheck since he's not the main star. <laughs> Oh, this is exactly Java. What this is exactly Java. Why I often no, they took it out of them shoes, non-existent paycheck. <laughs> yeah, but how can we? How can we take but, but Siri if it's non-existent? He'll have to we'll pay it. it. <laughs> the business of making forgeries. Dun dun dun. We already knew this. Ow. Granted. Okay, fair enough. It gets the case Jesus. moving. Whew. That face, man. Do we really need to fix on this? Uh... That is all, Your Honor. Uh, well, well if, it, if this were made in the UK, Apollo would have to say no further questions. Everyone, please, everyone! But yeah, um, that's the thing, Jova. Like, I, that's, this is one of the primary reasons why I always stand up for the 3DS games. For, uh, for whatever problems you can point at the 3DS games, they weren't boring. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, can we keep this private? Please. I mean, okay. I just my story, my scope. The 3DS games get the the most important things right. They have interesting and likable characters and interesting stories. They have flaws like plot holes you can find, but Poetry. that's just part of the course with his attorney anyway. That's mm -hmm. a serious crime. Usually when people praise Apollo Justice, it's more so about cases one and four. I mean, I barely hear them talk about cases two or three when praising it. True Mitchum is known as an artist these days. But there were rumors he dabbled in another kind of art till a few years back. Like, uh, Dual Destinies feel, uh, it was a game felt by a guy who, by a fan, for fans. This game just feels like by a group of people who are just tired. To be fair, as we've said, as we, as we stated before, there was a much different story and plan here, but... Wow, sure, sure, sure. I, 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 okay, I'm, I'm, but remember, I'm saying it feels like. I'm not saying it necessarily was, but yeah, it feels like. Uh, you can tell that the people who made this game didn't like the final product because there was a con kind of like how Onuma wanted to make Wind Waker 2, but was forced to make Twilight Princess because of the fan pressure. Mm -hmm. All right, more on this later, dudes. Criminal element. Hmm, Criminal Elements. That sounds like the name of a of a American show. What? You can't seriously be talking about. Oh yeah. 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 What? Exactly. Yeah. I'm talking about forging evidence. 
Yep, turns out Drew Missa may have forged more than just art, he may have also forged evidence. Gee, I wonder where this is going. <laughs> the rumors started circulating seven years ago. In hindsight, calling There's them rumors is stupid. Again. Seven again? It's enough with the. Can you honestly think of any other way to phrase it other than seven years ago? So, are the we true? To stop the truth level? about seven years ago. Hundred thousand dollars was for. I guess in hindsight, seven years ago doesn't have the same ring that DL6 has to it. Yeah. The yeah, truth about we, we, 50... Sorry. Sorry. The truth about 50 years ago is that turns out Shadow forgot something. That's basically it. Forest evidence that's any by my ankle. Oh, um, unfortunately, oh yeah, uh, by the way, uh, Phoenix. What? Uh, that $100,000, we had to take it out of your paycheck so we could, play, we could pay for Clavier's haircut. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Well, there was a bit left over we could I use, think disappointed but... is worse. Well, there was... Exactly. Well, funny, enough, funny enough, though, there was actually a bit left over in the kitty that we planned to use for your piano lessons. Goody. Unfortunately, we had to spend I don't spend think he's that. been attending those I mean, ever, but okay. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we had to, um... We, we had to spend that on the judge's bold... Okay, bold Apollo, entry. get back to the case on hand. Otherwise, I'm going to usurp this case right from under you. He could have had plenty of enemies with nothing. What were you saying about usurping? You were t saying earlier, Joe, about uh, oh, uh, even if. It, oh. oh wait, hold on. This is my first time hearing of this criminal world. Well, you've never. Mm. To be what fair, it's a specific. Um, dude, this is your profession. We certainly found no criminal connections when we conducted our investigation. Other than the, other than the fact that a criminal act occurred, you know, murder. Well, he's talking Objection. about the whole forgery business. But how do you explain all this money? Uh, the profits of Monster Hunter? <laughs> and also the painting <laughs> that was conveniently uh, hidden away. I mean, come on. You have to admit, there's some sort of illegal activity. Also, only $100,000? That must be... Wow, Capcom must have spent a lot on taxes for it to go down that much. Objection! But there is no proof tying this letter to our case. We found it at his house. Well, it he's... was addressed to him. To be fair, we need. <laughs> to be fair, dudes, we need something actually connected to the idea of forgery. It's a big accusation. Yeah, we can just say oh, making. By that, by that logic, dudes, every single thing that's in his house is is related to the case. Our case was and remains simple from the beginning. He's just telling him that because he doesn't want to go down the road. Only the defendant could have poisoned that money. That's the thing, Joe, but let's see. Uh, yeah, like you were saying, you can try to make up for m mixed characters with thematic depth, but I don't think that game even has that, honestly. It tries to, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Hey, 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 the only thing that I poison is my pen when I'm writing reviews. Let me put it like this. There is thematic well, depth. I, I wonder how he... How does he review stuff? Oh, again, I'm just gonna start off by this. This game has good things. The problem is how it's focused. And trust me, in... It'll become very apparent by the end of this Your game. Your testimony to this point has been quite unreliable. But despite that fact, it doesn't speak well of your reporting acumen. Ooh, burn. Yeah, um... I don't even think Lotto was... What are you talking like about? My journalism is rock solid! I'm so sorry, you can send an elephant on it, end quote. Yeah, you know, that, I'd like to see where a lot is, actually. Kind of what kind of quote is that? Mm. Whatever. Well, you go, go ahead, Jova. You know, that's In a good point, Joe, right? Where is Lada during all of this? Like, you're telling me that apparently there was a big scandal, and she wasn't around to try and cover that. Also, uh, no, I don't, I don't want to hear any more testimony from the guy who literally just said has been unreliable. We'll see where this case goes in the next part. Well, we continue uh, to get testimony from Lamois, so, you know, uh, whatever. Jova, yes. I've noticed that this game is just going around in circles. When should I start yeah. to worry? Uh, Jova, Jova, the judge literally just said a second ago that this guy's testimony has been unreliable, yet we're asking for a summary. You know, to people who like Apollo Justice, more power to Why? you. Well, join, join us for the um, ever-crucial final testimony of Mr. Unreliable. Yay. See ya. See ya. I, hope it's, I hope it's the bloody final one. See ya.